All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to keep this really, really quick. I'm, I'm uh, severely busy. I'm supposed to be taking a week off from here. Uh, some things popped up. First and foremost, I want to uh, reiterate a couple of uh, concerns that have been handled, um, but but uh, they are concerning. They were concerning. So the Dean Markley issue. Okay, there's. Let me explain to you guys something. There are two sides of that. One is the Dean Markley business and product line and company. Okay, that's over here. Then you have Dean Markley over here. See, Dean Markley has basically, uh, I'm not going to get into all that, okay? Definitely not personal things. I just wanted you guys to know that there was some confusion there that had to be uh, talked over this morning, okay? And it was. Um, you guys see the, the comments and stuff by an individual. Well, that individual... Uh, is a you know a true partnership in that corporation now when when the comment came out from him I thought it was just uh, another tattoo industry guy trying to shut my name down making me look like a liar or whatnot okay now I see on their perspective there's two entities here there's the company and then there's the person Okay, when I refer to Mr. Markley, that is to the person on a personal level, not a, not a corporate entity and his corporate entity. This is my business. This is my company. Okay, this is mine and my dad's company. It, it has nothing to do with, you know, Dean Markley's lines, nor his uh, materials, nor anything like that. Okay, when, when I refer to Dean Markley on a different level, it's on a personal level. Let's say we do something with Dean, okay, and you, we want to use the name Dean because I don't use it. I don't need to use anybody's name to become a popular business. I can do that myself. Um, that's not. That wasn't the point. The point was is that Dean is a good guy. He's a down to earth person. I get along with them. Um, you know, my dad knows him a lot long more than I do, but he gets along with my family and I get along with him, and that's the bottom line. He's an innovator. He is a genius at what he is, okay? And that's what that video was in regards to the video, um, uh, I Am Legend or, or Legendary, okay? All that was was a tribute to Mr. Markley and the fact that, you know, I get to know someone that made a mark in history, you know? Um, he is involved with the music industry. I also, as you know, on a personal level, was involved in making music and, and things of that nature. And you can agree that all artists probably are into music as well. It's just that part of the brain that you utilize most. And if you're born with that knack, then you're going to be part of that. You know what I'm saying? But my products have nothing to do with, uh, with uh, musical instruments. So there was some confusion on their end when it came in regards to the foot pedal that I made. This one. First and foremost, let me get this out of the way and make it clear. This foot pedal was made using no tools, no professionalism whatsoever. It was not designed to even be, um, you know, physically attractive. It's not. Look at it. It's chopped up. It's bent. That is something that I created and came up with and offered to share to my viewers. This has nothing to do with mechanical. Nothing. This goes into a power supply that operates a tattoo machine. Bzz, bzz. There's another video showing me use this. Bzz, bzz. So um, on that side, they didn't see that video, that it was a tattoo machine being operated by this foot pedal, which will not be sold will not be marketed, will not be anything because of, look at it, would I sell something like this? Maybe if I was Elvis Presley. The, the, the objective of this was to show you that I'm an innovative person and that when I engineer, I do things like this. I'm just offering my viewers uh, a chance to take a glimpse at my creativeness. 
that's all. It, this, my foot pedals are going to be manufactured in a professional way. There's not going to be a flaw on it. They're going to be beautiful, glossed over whatever I may do. Everything of every square inch of every product that I uh, supply to to uh, clients and in the uh, industry of tattooing world will be beautiful, period. Artistic and beautiful, okay? So I wanted to get that point across. Um, it's been bothering me, um, you know? And uh, I certainly, certainly didn't want to step on any to toes on Dean's side. Um, and I, I, I really haven't. Um, you know, we will, we will talk to Mr. Dean and uh, get it out of the way. You know what I mean? Um, there may have been a conflict with the shirt that I was wearing. Uh, this is a very tricky business, guys. You got to understand there's a personal side of things and then there's a business aspect of things. Now, um, the, the individual that, that left the comment was, you know, CEO ownership or whatever. You know, he's high ranking in that company. Now, I understand his perspective on it and view on it and understand what, if my intentions were to get my name out, so to speak, because of using someone famous. Definitely not my objective. Definitely, absolutely not. I am a uh, talented young man without being too vain, and I don't need to uh, piggyback on someone else's fame to achieve my own. Absolutely not. My company is going to deal in a whole different venue than the music uh, supply company, okay? So, uh, you guys make beautiful, if you're watching this, probably are, uh, you, make, you make awesome, outstanding uh, uh, equipment. I, I do, you know, I've, I've had my hands on a couple of uh, Markley's items and they're beautifully made, beautifully crafted. I haven't seen a guitar string yet though, and I need to. Um, so now... We get that all squared up, okay? I, in the future, who knows what happens? You know, if I want to do anything that involves that, I'm going to take the appropriate steps to uh, uh, make that happen. And there are steps, legally, to make that happen. That's why I stress it so much, and I can't, I can't show you what's in this book. Because in this book, I have yet to patent half these things. I'm not legally backed, okay? So... Instantly, if I showed this camera what's in here, I'd be raped. I'd be done. I'd be gone. And I see where, you know, he was coming from. If I held that piece of crap thing that I put together with no tools and just bent some metal and, and put it on, hey, dude, no, we're not building that, bro. That's, like, shitty. I don't want my clients, my customers seeing that and thinking we're building that crap. I understand, dude. Trust me. This is my personal channel. This is a movement channel. As you see, it is called Into Deep Tats. It is not called my business name. It's not called Perseus 9 nor the other one that's going to be chosen. There's a reason for that. Here, I cuss. Here, I tattoo myself and cause injury to myself. Here, I take a younger generation and I'm hip to the hop. Here, I, I uh, am gaining national attention by what I do that might be absurd to a corporate business owner. I will though, however, tell you that I am going to come up with a YouTube channel that is totally dedicated to my company and totally different person. No cussing, no this, no that, anything that would be on the unprofessional level. Trust me, I clean up very well and when I jump in a suit, I look better than most. Bam! This channel is dedicated to me being real. This channel is dedicated to me building an army, okay? Not a violent army CIA, not a violent army FBI, since all you guys are on me. Let's get that out of the way before I get visited by somebody. I'm creating a movement that has nothing to do with anti-government. Let's get that out of the way, Jim Jones. I'm creating a movement that is going to help support what we need in this industry, which is a number, a number. We need X amount of people to support this movement so that when my, my innovations and my little guys like this come out, that Chinese don't buy one 
take it and build 500,000 of them and sell them on eBay for 19.95 plus tax free shipping. Okay? And then the artists get it and tear people up with my brand, my name. Okay? It's kind of what just happened with this confusion. We don't want that piece of crap associated with us. What are you doing, dude? Cage. I'm not a fool. I get it. And uh, it's good that it was brought to my attention. Okay? Now, on a respectful level, I am uh, totally business-minded as well, and I get that. That's what this channel is dedicated to. I will not, however, have people tell me uh, that I cannot talk about this or cannot talk about that. Uh, I served this country in combat and military, and I will defend my rights, my constitutional amendments. That's a fact. I help support yours and, uh, and service yours. I will definitely service my own. It would be pointless to serve a country if I couldn't serve myself. Um, so this, de this channel is de dedicated to realism. Being real with you guys. Pick my nose. Eat it. Do whatever I want to do. Okay, so uh, am I psycho? No. Am I real? Yeah. Can I take a shit in front of my girl? Yep, I can. So you guys understand what I'm saying? My viewers, my, my troops? You guys get me and you feel me, okay? Let's move on really quick. I, don't, I, I need to do a lot of things. You guys' art video, it's halfway done. Um, it's going to post today, sometime, Saturday, okay? Um, just to let you know that this channel is not the company channel. This channel is a private entity. Uh, it has nothing to do with, with a co the company that I am going to launch, my father and I. So um, please don't think that I'm, you know... This is my company. Yo, hey, check it out. Here's my nipple. Lick it. No, it's not. Okay. I'm a cool dude. Big heart. Uh, very understanding. But I, I, I back myself up. I stand up for myself. Totally. I will speak my mind. I definitely will. But I can get down to professionalism and uh, you can talk to me. That goes for everybody out there. Um, so, you know... Uh, people run different types of businesses, okay? The tattoo industry is a totally different one than, well, it's not that different from the music industry, to tell you the truth. Uh, but, but, so how I act and how I reflect myself is not going to be a reflection of my products and my company. It is, in a way, because of this. Not because of this, Okay? So since that's all squared away, let's do it today, okay? I've, I'm very busy, and I had, I had to post this real quick because I just can't let things bug me. Um, so all you guys waiting for your uh, Art and Soul video, that's going to come. That's actually a good business name right there is uh, Art and Soul Irons. Art and Soul, like heart and soul, but it's Art and Soul. Feel me? Irons.com. Tell me if you like that. Um... I discussed it with my, my dad today after everything happened, and uh, yeah, we're we're trying to come up with a really good name now. First step is getting that, that company name down so that we can get our business cards going in the process of building the company, uh, the foundations of it. So I didn't like Empire Irons at all after a couple of days. I mean, it's a great name, but someone else can have it. You know, it's just too close to too many other things, and it's too bland. Um, I, you know, the, I want this co company to be a very, very strong one and have a very good antic behind it and a moral. So, uh, definitely have to sit on that one. So, a lot of the concepts that were on their way are put on hold because of that. And, uh, Scott, if you're watching out of the UK, go ahead and uh, leave it up there, but chill out for a minute. Stand by. I've got a lot of stuff coming your way as far as the the development of that those pages um, I don't think there was anything else right now you guys videos on the way I have not flaked out um, last night was the first piece of sleep I got in three days and I really need to I was you know watch my health too you know because if I'm out of commission I can't go anywhere you know if I get sick so um, staying up too long and thinking too much is just not healthy on the human body it takes a toll so I actually got some good sleep last night, woke up with a sore throat, that means I was snoring pretty bad. So I've got a lot of things coming up, and I think, check this out guys, I won't tell you where it came from right now, but 
I found this bad boy in the midst of a pretty much a diamond in the rough. This, this freaking thing right here, let me tell you, I'm going to develop a rotary from this, and this motor is insane. I cannot tell you where it came from yet, but dude, it is insane. And yeah, my nose on camera is real crooked, my nostrils. So you see me doing this a lot. In person, it doesn't look like that, but it's been broke numerous times. Numerous. Three years old or four years old. What was it, Ma? I uh, dropped a bowling ball and slammed it in my nose. That was the first time. And then fights after that. And I've, you know, I've never had my nose up anybody's ass, if, if that's what you want to know. No. But that nostril's like way out there, dude. And I don't like it. It's crooked all the way up in here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's get to it. This is going to be an awesome rotary right here. All this won't be here, of course. This is a lot of copper, and that was for another continuity uh, uh, part of this piece. But I will strip it of its copper because it's about half an inch thick of 24 or 5 gauge AWG. So, uh, yeah, this is really thin. So it's probably like 25 or 20. It's probably 26 or 27 AWG. So you can't use it in like coils or anything, but uh, as far as tattoo coils are concerned, it's too small, too fragile. So, uh, yeah, I'll be taking that motor out very shortly, but I've got too much other things to do. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to do that, guys, and I'm going to cut this video short and get on to you guys' art and soul for tonight. Sorry it's been delayed a day-ish happens. Um, I'm glad that we got squared away with the Dean Markley issue. Um, I know that Mr. Markley is not upset about this at all. Um, it was just a small di misunderstanding that was... That pedal no, is nowhere close to a uh, foot pedal in the music world, okay? Although, hey, I got some ideas for you guys if you want to mess with me. I got some ideas. Mess with me in a good way. Uh, now that we have spoken, I, uh, I have a lot of innovations. And in a couple of days, I'll let things uh, settle down. I've got a lot of work to do. It's all right here, guys. The magic happens right in here, okay? It's right here. Um, Alright, peace guys, I know that uh, you guys are waiting, I'm getting a lot of emails in regards to a lot of different things. Stand by, please, don't blow me up right now, please. I will be back in a week, blow me up then. Um, down in Houston, uh, buddy, I, I still, I gotcha, Ink Ant, I'm freaking excited. Um, uh, Scott and your little brother, you guys are doing a great job, stand by. Um, who else? Yeah, Amy, I know you're out there. I saw you. Give you a little shout. Keep doing your thing, girl. I wanted to know how those healed, number one. And number two, how many more since then have you done? I want to make sure you have not given up. Part of this movement as well is for us to band together, hold hands, and make a tight circle that a lot of the outsiders can't get into, okay? And we're going we're gonna to go straight to uh, Senate with with uh, this movement and and it's on a good side of things where we are a happy positive directed movement uh, let me reiterate we are a non-violent organization if you want to call it okay a gang is anything over five people banded together into an organization so I don't know we're a mafia yeah maybe but we're a good one we're kinda of like the uh, guardian angels if you guys remember those so, uh, in the tattoo world, we're here to support one another, like a support group of counseling and uh, to teach the right things and the right ways to do things. A lot of hate's coming through on these pages now, and that's a good thing. That means that we are on, uh, on the right track and that progress is actually flowing as planned and directed. The more uh, we continue, the more hate you guys are going to see. Don't follow into it. Uh, people's emotions in this planet right now are just, they're all over the place. Things are happening cosmically that we don't even know about and that might have an impact on it, who knows. But as for the haters, you know, I, at this point in time, will no longer respond to you. I'll just pretty much, if it goes to a certain extent, uh, ban you from this channel. Uh, we don't need that. If you already know how to, what you're doing, then you don't need to be here, okay? This is for people that need help. This is not for people that are going to come here and, and hate and try to demoralize the whole 
uh, motive behind this objective in the movement. Okay? So, peace out to you guys. Love ya.